Hi friends and family. Welcome to Littlewood's Homestead. I don't even know where to begin. So much has happened. We first had a really bad storm and tons of water came in through the patio windows, which is really unfortunate. It was so much water, it was going down to the basement. It's not even ground level. And what the builder thinks is that when the windows were put together, they were put together incorrectly and they weren't sealed right. In addition to the siding being incorrectly installed. Teddy! Let's go. Come on. Good boy. <clears throat> well, anyway, they pulled up the flooring and the subfloor was just soaked and it seems that it wasn't just that storm, but this has been leaking for a long time because there is lots of black mold underneath the flooring. So here you can see where the black mold is and all the flooring has been pulled up to let it dry. It was so soaked, they had to pull all of this up. The water was coming through all of the windows, not just one, and here you can see the water marks and the water's coming in through the windows and all of these windows, not just one. So those were installed incorrectly. So it won't be till Christmas when we get the new doors and windows for that area. And we're gonna be hosting Christmas. So I'm hoping we get the windows in before Christmas. Cause right now all the flooring is ripped up. It doesn't make sense for them to fix the flooring with the bad windows in because it's just gonna continue leaking and it's gonna ruin the new flooring. So that happened. Teddy. Come. Good boy. Good boy. Whoa. The next thing happened is that we planted 70,000 square feet of grass seed. But first we had to till the land, pick up all the big rocks, crunch up the little rocks, and then rake it so it's nice and even. Then we used a seeder to plant the seed. So then we put down straw mats and this all happened over maybe about five days. Then with all this going on, unfortunately I missed the elderberries. They were ready to go and I missed it. And they're all gone now, so I'll have to wait till next year to do that. Now amongst all this, I got into a car crash, which totaled my car. Good boy, Teddy. So then I had to get a new car. Not necessarily new, I bought it used. But, It was kind of nice having a paid off car. And those who know me, it's like I'm saving money. I'm making money every time I drive a paid off car. 
And yep, the insurance did pay some, which is nice. They paid the depreciated value. The at-fault driver's insurance, I should say, paid it. It wasn't our fault. Good boy, Teddy. There's a lot of predators out here, so I really have to make sure that I try to stay observant for Teddy. He's only eight pounds. We have resident barn owls out here. Yep, he's coming. We have coyotes boxes, all those things. So I just need to make sure I stay vigilant and observant. And talking helps. It makes a lot of noise to scare off those predators. Because honestly, they're more scared of us than we are of them. But when you get a rabid one or one that is so hungry, it doesn't care. So we went through the process of researching vehicles and knowing that my old car was reliable and we knew what was wrong with it and all the repairs that it had on it. The insurance can't make you whole in that part. But, so, we opted in and got a newer car. So, anyways, we got through those trials Still waiting on the doors, of course. Won't go to get those till Christmas. Now, what does the future hold? Good boy, Teddy. Good heel, Teddy. Good boy. Well, we're going to be planting. There's how many acres? I might have this wrong, but there's maybe about 10 acres. I'll say 10 acres. And each acre, we're going to be planting at least 300 pines per acre. And this is going to be next year, next spring. I'm planning on getting my apple trees. There's there's gonna be some big stuff next year. Get my apple trees. Maybe I'll get some light gardening done. We did get the bridge. We were able to go get the bridge and brought that. We need to put the planks on the bridge and then install the bridge. So we have that to do. We also have my chickens. I used to have chickens. All of them died but one. And chickens are social animals. They need to be around a flock. They need at least one other chicken. So because I knew we were moving and doing all this, I didn't want to go get a whole bunch of baby chicks in the middle of moving. So I rehomed the last chicken to a local homesteader. And so I'd really like to get my chickens back because I miss all the eggs and the rewards to having the chickens, knowing what they're being fed because I'm feeding them, knowing that they have lands to roam around they're not stuck in cages. They'll have a run. They'll be eating bugs. The nutrients will be better in the eggs. So I'm really looking forward to that. So next year is going to be more of the excitement. I hope we obtain all those goals. That would be really great. Teddy is very muddy. I will need to rinse him off. That is okay. He's 
a dog. Let him be a dog. Uh oh, Teddy. I don't know if this is gonna hurt. Burrs. Oh joy. It's all in your tail. Joy, joy, joy. Poor Teddy. So, if you guys have been with me, you probably know this area that I'm coming up to. It is the field area, which is just lovely. But, there are going to be some changes. As much as I love the wild raspberries, I think those are going away because we will be planting this whole field with pines to increase the forest portion. We're also going to be planting three acres of pollinator grass, which I'm pretty excited about because then it's gonna attract a lot of those pollinators. So I'm gonna plant the Honeycrisp trees pretty close. So my guess and opinion is that those trees are gonna be prolific. We'll see what happens. The farmer also came by and harvested all the beans all the soybeans, that was pretty exciting. Because I've always lived, I've mostly lived in the city. And in the past seven years, I've lived in a rural areas. But I really got, I got to see that. So that was exciting to see the machines. It was also really interesting. Those machines are huge. And there was a tree down and Luke decided he'd go move one of the trees for them off of the soybeans so they could at least get that area. And so when he did that, it was just mind blowing. I, I think the tractor that we have was a big tractor, but when you see it next to the farmer's machines, it's super tiny. It puts things in perspective. And I was amazed at how fast those machines harvest the soybeans. They take the husks off, the stalks, they separate all that, push it out the bottom, and then the soybeans go into a container on the top. And then it's, this is all from just looking at it. It seems like when it gets too full, then there's like a, another vehicle that has, Luke called it a cart. So there's a, like a cart. It looks like a small semi truck to me with the trailer in the back and then all the beans then get put into that container and then that cart goes out to an actual semi truck and puts all the beans in there. So pretty cool that I got to see that. So that is my update for what's happening at the Little Woods Homestead. A lot has happened in a short amount of time. Uh, some disappointments, but some good things. Teddy, stop!
I heard a really weird noise. But maybe I scared it off with my loud stop. Teddy release. Well, I hope I didn't scare you guys yelling stop like that. That's my panic in me, but one of the best commands I ever taught my dog is stop and wait. They both mean the same thing. It's just whatever one comes out of my mouth and he's pretty smart, so he just, he knows that they both mean the same thing because I just use them interchangeably. So, if you, he just, he's supposed to stop or, you know, wait and stay until I get to him. And it's coming pretty handy. Because there's times when he's gone to run up to something and I tell him to stop or wait and then he stops or waits and I can better assess what's going on. Well, thank you for joining me on this walk to give you an update on everything that's been happening. And I hope that you have a wonderful week. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more updates of our Little Woods Homestead, please subscribe down below and give a like if you liked the video. This was more of just a update uh, some of my other videos are more action-packed with machines and things like that with our projects, which I'm hoping our bridge project will be more like that. So, hope you have a great weekend. Until next time, bye.